many people assume that it's always been with us, that this is a natural form of punishment, but actually it has been ideologically naturalized. Uh, and that uh, it is only with the emergence of bourgeois democracies that we see imprisonment as the dominant mode of punishment. Uh, uh, because no other punishment is designed to take away rights, take away liberties. And of course, liberties and rights are only accorded in a, quote, democratic society. So the prison is the quintessential democratic form a punishment. Um, capitalist democratic form of punishment. And so, um, you know, as we see capitalism um, uh, developing in such an uh, uh, unproductive direction, the, the Occupy uh, movement that erupted last fall, made it possible for us to talk about capitalism in a, a, a more frank and straightforward way, um, just as um, it's often assumed that capitalism is here, uh, is a permanent socioeconomic system, uh, it's assumed that the prison is a permanent form of punishment. But now is the time, I think, to begin to um, propose other uh, ways of holding people accountable who do commit acts of harm against others. Uh, and it's also important to um, unhook, unlink, delink crime and punishment. The vast majority of people who are in prison in the U.S., and I would say this is true in many other countries as well, are in prison because they're poor, because they're illiterate, because they have not had the opportunity to um, um, benefit from um, the services that society should provide. And so, and so on the one hand, we have alternatives such as education for everyone, and health care, and housing, and jobs. Uh, that was certainly uh, drastically reduced the number of people who are on trajectories that lead them into prison. And then on the other hand, we, have, we, we can ask, how can we create a justice system that is not based on vengeance and retribution? How can we create a justice system that does not reproduce the very problems it proposes to solve. Uh, you know, how, and I can give you one example. Uh, over the last, um, say, 30 years or so, we've worked all over the world to end violence against women. And it was recognized uh, for the first time as, as a major issue in, say, the, 60, the late 60s, early 70s. And now uh, we have all kinds of programs all over the world. Violence against women has been criminalized in the sense that people who commit violence against women are sent to prison. But at the same time, the incidence of violence against women remains the same. So it means that we have to, if we're really committed to solving these social problems, to um, purging our societies of violence. We can't depend on the prison, which has a tendency to reproduce that violence uh, simply by addressing problems of violence with more violence. And um, so I think we have to move in the direction of a more reparative justice system, a justice system that, that helps us all to heal, you know, rather than one that's grounded in vengeance and violence. Thank you.